very good overall luminescence degradation limited market availability of course these uh, oil ladies not much available in the market also very less applications they are used in television screens computer displays portable system screens advertising information and indication it can be used in the light source of general space illumination and large area light emitted elements right. the applications are almost uh, similar leds will use in uh, displays in computers when it is we can use in the same only it is advanced so it's very easy to write in exam point of view applications are similar of course sometimes same also here also nothing to worry if you want to think about the exam point of view let me tell you in simple way here also principle is the same just write the what is the principle draw the one diagram and explain what are the parts what is the construction so working it's very simple if you apply the voltage the recombination takes place this is a simple working it's common working phenomena so then advantage there are the applications you can write fine similarly next polymer light emitting diodes pleds this is one more advanced uh, led pled is a polymer that emits light when voltage is applied to it the structure comprises a thin film semiconducting polymer sandwiched between two electrodes namely electron cathode as shown in figure as we see in the figure here semiconducting polymer layer we will place in between the electrodes that's shown as the difference semiconducting polymer will be sandwiched between the electrodes when the electrons electrons and the holes are injected from the electrodes that recombination of the charge carriers take place which leads to emission of light that escapes through the glass that's a common phenomenon the wavelength of this wave uh, light depends on the band gap of the polymer waves which type of polymer we use based on that the light will be emitted the emitted light wavelength performance will be depends upon the which type of polymer we use in between the electrodes this is the basic principle construction similar we see the diagram here one by one layer what are the layers we can see here initially substrate and that anode and that uh, whole transport layer the primary layer emission layer cathode these are the different uh, layers simply an exam point of view if you draw the diagram what are the parts here just note down those then explain that that is called construction i think to worry working okay. here also almost similar the electrical current flows from the cathode to the anode through the organic layer giving electrons to emission layer and removing electrons to the conductor layer this is thing Re these removing electrons from the conductor layer leaves hole that need to be filled with the electron in the emission layer the holes jumps to the emission layer and recombine with the electrons as the electron drop into the holes and they release their extra energy as light a little uh, uh, change only compared to previous LED. process similar but little changes that only the difference only we have to understand similarly advantages you can write it's require only 3.3 volts and have life time more than 30,000 hours 
low power consumption self luminescence like there are so many advantages here we can see I listed over 13 advantages no need to write all these 13 just if you write over 5 advantages enough in examination disadvantages there are few disadvantages vulnerable to shorts due to contamination of substrate surface by dust that is one, one problem voltage drops mechanical fragile potential not yet realized there are few disadvantages applications in volta voltaics polymer semiconductor used to develop the efficient solar cells photovoltaics means nothing but the solar cells and light detectors in solar cells most probably this type of LEDs we use and also mp3 display players will use this type of LEDs like that there are so many applications we can see These are only about uh, LEDs. There are three types of LEDs. One is normal LED. Second one, OLED. Third one, PLED. These are the three types of LEDs. Most important question in examination. Next topic plasma display devices. Plasma displays. You know very well. This plasma display de display generally consists of two glass plates. You can see here the in diagram. A gas discharge plasma is created by applying the electrical field between the electrodes shown in figure here we can see two electrodes in between we introduce some gas like xenon and neon if you apply some voltage then discharge takes place and time hundreds of thousands of tiny cells position between the two plates of glass this will happen construction it's very simple you can see here long electrodes are also sandwiched between the glass plates on both sides here inside you can see long electrodes the address electrodes sit behind the cells along the rear glass plate the transparent display electrodes Simply construction is very simple. Just draw the diagram and what are the parts in the diagram. That only we have to explain in construction. Nothing more than that. Working. When voltage is applied, the electrodes get charge and cause the ionization of the gas resulting in plasma that means if you apply this some voltage in between the electrodes then the gas will be ionized it will create plasma this also includes the collision between the ions and the electrons resulting in the emission of photon light we already told initially the interaction between photon and electrons that's the basic principle that only will happen here also the, to obtain color plasma the back of each cell has to be coated with the phosphor generally they coated with the phosphor to get better plasma when the photon light is emitted they are ultraviolet in nature these UV rays react with the phosphor to give a colored light. 
that is the thing this is about walking plasma display device's characteristics why we need to go for this plasma display devices there are some plus there are some characteristics plasma displays can be made up to large sizes like 150 inches diagonal very high contrast the plasma display planner has thickness about 2.5 inches make the total thickness not more than 4 inches for a 50 inch display the power consumption increases from 50 to 400 watts in accordance with images having darker color has a lifetime of almost 1 lakh hours after this period the brightness of TV reduces to half these are the some characteristics of plasma display devices of course there are uh, some advantages and disadvantages if you see the advantages slimmest of all displays very high contrast ratio contrast ratio will be 1 is to 20 lakhs and that much of difference will be there weightless and is less bulky than GRTs like that there are so many advantages here you can see some disadvantage cost is much higher compared to other displays energy com consumption is more like that there are some disadvantages these displays are not available in smaller sizes than 32 inches This is about the plasma display devices. Next, next topic is liquid crystal display. What are these liquid crystals? We know about the crystals, we know about the liquids. What are these liquid crystals? Liquid crystals are the intermediate between the liquid and crystal. Liquids have fluidity and isotropic properties. These liquid crystals have been defined as orientationally ordered liquids. Positionally disordered crystals that combine the properties of both the crystalline and the liquid states. That means in this uh, <coughs> liquid crystals both the liquids and the crystals properties will be combined the liquid crystals are organic players the individual molecules has a minute cigar shape appearance the molecules will have the preferred orientation or direction called director There are few types of uh, liquid crystals. Pneumatic, cholesteric, smectic. There are three types of liquid crystals. Out of these, first two are most important. Pneumatic, cholesteric. Here we can see the diagram of pneumatic and cholesterol phase see in the orientation the difference only will be in orientation alignment <coughs> types of LCDs that means liquid crystal displays 